Focus. Okay, we're here. Hey, what's up you guys? So today I am doing a Halloween tag. I literally have been sitting in my dorm all day. I just put this makeup on just for this video, so. Give it a thumbs up for my efforts. <laughs> okay, there's 30 of these, so I'm just gonna try to go through them quick. First question, favorite horror or Halloween themed song? Um, do I know any? Oh, in elementary school, we always would have, we would have to sing Halloween songs for our music teacher, and one of them was just like about pumpkin pie. So I'm just gonna say that one. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building, any kind of person. <laughs> have you ever played with a Ouija board? No, and will I ever? No. Favorite horror monster or villain? Hmm. Beetlejuice is not a villain, is he? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that one lady that gave Snow White the apple, she was mean. <laughs> the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone. Ooh. I was in my bedroom one time and my grandma's old music box started playing by itself. If you were dared to spend a night in a haunted house, would you do it? Ooh, on a dare? Probably not. Wait, am I alone? Am I getting money for it? And how serious is this dare? I'm gonna say no. Are you superstitious? Yeah. Do you ever see figures in your peripheral vision? I can see Jillian right now, my peripheral vision, if that counts. <laughs> but um, which urban legend scares you the most? Does Bloody Mary count as urban legend? Yeah, I would count that. Oh my god, definitely Bloody Mary. Anytime I'm in the bathroom by myself, I ref like in my head, sometimes I'll accidentally start saying Bloody Mary and I scare myself because I think it's gonna actually happen to me. <laughs> it's really scary. I don't like Bloody Mary at all. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? I don't like whenever they make you jump in movies. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a fan of zombies and I like like blood and guts and stuff, that's fun. Do you believe in multiple dimensions or worlds? No, but Stranger Things fan, so maybe. Have you ever made a potion of any sort? When I was little, I used to throw a bunch of spices into a big bucket of water and call it soup, if that counts. <laughs> Do you get scared easily? Yes. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've been outside of the bathroom when my friend was playing Bloody Mary and I was scared enough outside of the bathroom. I will never actually do that. Do you believe in demons or the devil? Well, yeah. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? This has happened to me before and I literally just like sat where I was and was like paralyzed, quote unquote, because I was so scared. And then I realized it was just my mom, so. <laughs> if you got trapped in one scary movie, which would you choose? A uh, paranormal activity, only because I like those movies. If you could only wear one Halloween costume for the rest of your life, what would you be? A hobo, because I wear flannels anyway. <laughs> That people wear that as a Halloween costume, don't They're they? So sad. <laughs> I would probably be a hobo. I mean, those are fun. If I could look like this every no. day, I probably totally would. Would you ever go to a graveyard at night? Uh, yeah, I would. I feel like I've done that before, actually, and it wasn't that scary, so I'd do it again. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? Oh my god, <laughs> I love this question. I want to say a crossbow because I love Daryl but I don't think I'd be that good of a shot. So I'm just gonna say a screwdriver. Cause I know that's like, I mean, that's from Walking Dead. So I don't mean to like steal it or anything, but like I would be able to get close enough cause I can't throw or aim at all. So it would have to be like a close combat, that kind of thing. Would you rather go to a Halloween party or a trick or treating? I guess a Halloween party because I, we've been over this. I don't really like candy. And plus like having to go from house to house and have every grandma be like, oh, what are you? Like depending on whatever you are, that's super annoying to have to explain what you are every single year. You're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl, the first to die, the comic relief, the skeptic, the smart one, or the killer? Well, blondes are always the first one to go, so I'm probably gonna be the first one to die. So I'd rather be the first one to die because I wanna miss like all the creepy action. Like I'd rather just be out of there. <laughs> Do you have to watch something happy after watching a horror movie so you can go to sleep? Yeah, absolutely. The last um, couple movies that I watched that were scary, I had to put on The Office or Friends afterwards because I literally will not go to sleep if I watch a scary movie and then go straight to bed. And actually, wait, this happened to me last time. I watched a scary movie in my basement and then like to walk back upstairs, I had to like turn all the lights off on my way there. And I had to like play music and have the flashlight on on my phone in order to walk upstairs to my bedroom. And then I turned on Disney Channel. <laughs> Whilst watching scary movies, 
like the vocab. Are you the person who yells at the characters, the person with their eyes covered the whole time, or the person who falls asleep? Um, I'm simultaneously the person that yells at all the characters and covering my eyes the whole time. Are you the one who gets scared or the one that does the scaring? I'm definitely the one that gets scared, but like on the occasion that I do get to scare people, it's like my favorite thing in the world because like I feel proud of myself because like every other time I'm always the one that's scared. Favorite scary book? That's new. I don't think I've ever read a scary book. What's Probably Pet Cemetery if I would ever read it. <laughs> How old were you when you saw your first horror movie? Oh geez, I don't remember, but I was probably like super little because my dad like made us watch that stuff. And I think probably one of the first horror movies that I've ever seen, it was definitely a zombie movie, but I can't remember like which one exactly it was. What was your first Halloween costume? I think my first Halloween costume, I was Sylvester, the cat. And I had this like little like onesie on and yeah. Not that interesting. <laughs> what are you going to be for Halloween this year? This is me. I'm not going out for Halloween this year, probably. If you could have a spooky... <laughs> if you could have a spooky <laughs> Halloween pet, um, examples are black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, what would you pick? Definitely an owl. I love them. I mean, a bat would be cute, but like, they're kind of scary, so. Okay, my nose is itchy. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, or whatever you will. All my social media will be in the description, so make sure to check that out. Let me know you're coming from my YouTube channel, and I'll be sure to follow back. I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween, and be safe, and run away from clowns that look scary, because you never know, man. That's my Halloween advice, and don't take candy that doesn't look like actual candy. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Yep. Bye, guys! Superstitious. I can't say that word. <laughs> <laughs> if your head were to ever look more like an egg. Okay, thumbnail. The nines. Alrighty.